And for the first time since November 2019, we are back at Griswold Stadium for Lewis and Clark football. As today, the Lewis and Clark Pioneers take on the Whittier Poets from Griswold Stadium. Thanks so much for being with us, Ryan Goff, up in the booth. As we get set for this game, it's been a long time since the Pios have taken the field. And what a great game it was. It was a ending to the 2019 season with a Puget Sound victory over the Northwest Conference rival Loggers. And now we get to see what happens with this Pioneers team as they open the home schedule with the same team against which they opened the 2019 schedule. That's the Whittier Poets. Uh, we appreciate you being with us on all of the platforms, including lcpioneers.com. We are live on YouTube. Uh, we are live uh, elsewhere as well on Twitter, Facebook. You can also find us on YouTube and on Twitch. Thank you so much for being us. The captain's going to center field, uh, midfield, if you will, for the coin toss. As Anakin Mares is out there for Lewis and Clark. Cameron Chang, Aiden Verva Hamilton, and Mercury Campagno. Uh, three of those four, those Pios, uh, significant for Lewis and Clark, considering the fact that this is a team that has a lot of players who missed out on the 2020 season. Well, Verba Hamilton and Chang are two of those uh, Lewis and Clark Pioneers players who are back for an additional year worth of competition. Lewis and Clark, the toss, and we'll defer. You want the football? Which way would you like to kick? That's Seth Neeson, the referee. So Lewis and Clark and defers. The toss, defer the decision in the second half. And will kick to Whittier as it is rainy. It's been great weather, believe it or not, in the Portland, Oregon area. And then all of a sudden, uh, <laughs> it's decided to kick into full fall for football season in 2021. As right now, uh, you look around uh, this Portland, Oregon area, Griswold Stadium on the campus of Lewis and Clark College, 130 plus acres just southwest of downtown Portland, Oregon. And it is rainy. Now the rain has subsided compared to where it was just a few hours ago. We're expecting temperatures to be in the high 50s at best. There also could be some pretty strong wind as Jay Losey is the head coach for the Pioneers in his seventh season leading the Lewis and Clark Pioneers program. He is a former NCAA Division III national champion and has a lot of great familiarity with this Northwest Conference. Whittier came to town and lost 44-41 to open the 2019 season. Lewis and Clark fought their way back from a 21-3 deficit in that game to end up getting a victory to start the 2019 season off to a good note. And that was significant because... It was Lewis and Clark's best season since 2011. Whittier dressed in white tops, gold pants, and purple helmets. They're 0-2 on the year. Mike Neal is in the fifth year as the head coach with a 4-32 record. Whittier opened up the season losing at Laverne in a non-conference matchup with a conference opponent, 42-0, and then opened the home schedule last week against Pomona Pitzer also out of the Skyac Conference but a non-conference game, a 59-18 defeat. The Pioneers opened on the road against Claremont Mud Scripps out of the same conference as Whittier. Built a 10-7 lead but the second half was painful for the Pios. They fall 34-10 coming with an 0-1 record. Pioneers dressed in black, orange accents, black helmet new this year. The left side of the helmet's featuring the jersey number of the player as kicking it away Left to right, Hayden Moses sends it down to the right side in the arms of Moises Gonzalez up the near side numbers. Kind of hit a little bit of a stall and is twisted down on top of the 25-yard line. Tackles made for Lewis and Clark. Looks like that was made by David Seha or Jordan Fajardo. Front line for Lewis and Clark is Cameron Chang, the returning senior, six foot, 250 pound, with 15 career sacks. He's on the right side defensive end, and Nico Lang, the senior at 6'1", 180, starts on the left side of the defensive formation. The quarterback is Sebastian Pimentel. Second game that Sebastian, the sophomore quarterback, plays. And out of shotgun, first and ten, out route to the right side, caught, and out of bounds immediately. Receptions made by Gonzalez. 
for a quick six yard gain. Up front for Whittier, striker Herb, Jamil Charles, Jonathan Ramirez, Sam Megadan, and Noah Ramirez for Whittier. Big side Charles, 307 pounds. Herb stands six foot five on the left tackle spot. Three receivers right. Open side of the field. It's a second down and four for Whittier. Out of shotgun again. Pimentel handoff this time. Kelvin Tipton is stacked up quickly and brought down a bunch of Pioneers driving. Alex Hensley, the linebacker with Lang, to make the stop. One yard gain, third down and three for Whittier. Pimentel has the targets of Gonzalez, a 5'6", 160-pound cedar out of Long Beach, California. On the near side of the formation, Hakeem Williams, 6'2", 202-pound receiver, lines up with Gonzalez near side. The running back is tipped into the right. Third down and three for Whittier. First minute of the opening quarter. Pioneers rush five. Pimentel throws, caught on a quick curl near the 37-yard line. And it's a first down for Gonzalez and the Whittier Poets, 0-0. Opening 90 seconds gone by on the home opener for Lewis and Clark. Up front with Chang and Lang, the interior defensive lineman for the Pioneers. Ari Bleemer is a six foot one, 250 pound senior out of Hayward, California. And the Pioneers have number 90 in the defensive tackle spot. That could be DJ Smith who normally wears number 50. And a quick whistle over the snap. Play clock showed four. Time out, Whittier. Time out, Whittier. Their first of the half. Whittier takes a timeout. 13.02, we'll keep it here, give you the rest of the starting lineup for Lewis and Clark. Thirteen oh two to go first quarter. 0-0 game. The linebackers for Lewis and Clark. Alex Hensley, six foot sophomore, 220 pounds. Out of Leander, Texas. He was an all-conference caliber player heading into 2020. We'll see what he can do now in 2021. Justin Hope is out there, sophomore, 5'11, first home snaps for the sophomore out of Sacramento, California. Middle linebacker is Jake Bushman. Happy Valley, Oregon, 5'11", 210-pound junior. Corner near side, Joseph Gonzalez for Lewis and Clark. Anakin Mara is the leading tackler for the season opener for Lewis and Clark. He's on the far side, lined up across from Williams. The safeties, Mike Yanagi, junior out of Hawaii, 5'10", 185 pounds. And Tanner Ono out of Honolulu, senior at 5'9". After the Whittier timeout, first and 10. And the Whittier 37-yard line going right to left on the road. One receiver split out wide to the right, one in the slot that direction, two to the near side, short side motion from left to right from Daniel Cruz, the senior tight end, going deep. In route post, tipped up in the air. Williams had a defender on his back right shoulder near the Lewis and Clark 30, and it's deflected away. Mares had two pass breakups in the opener against CMS. Gets one there. 14 back in 2019. Was third most in the Northwest Conference. Second and 10 for Whittier. Four down linemen for Lewis and Clark. High snap. Pimentel play fake. Runs right behind Tipton. Looked like it might have been an option play, and Pimentel had nowhere to go left side. That's Chang and Bleemer's side. And Lewis and Clark holds Whittier to a one-yard gain. Now third and long for Whittier. They officially mark it as a two-yard gain. In 2019, Whittier was 45% on third down conversions, one of the best in the country at 42nd overall. Lewis and Clark's third down conversion for defense was third best in the Northwest Conference, third and eight. Have to get past the Whittier 47-yard line. Two receivers either side. Pimentel the shotgun tipped into his right. Pioneers crowd the line of scrimmage. Five rush. Looking left. Throw! And a turnaround effort by Williams outside the numbers near side. He cannot make the catch near midfield. Gonzalez had the coverage. And here comes the punt team 
for Whittier. Sean Aldana, the junior from Los Angeles, is back to kick for Whittier. Hayden Verba Hamilton for the Pioneers. Ten yards per return stands back at the Lewis and Clark 25. Fourth down and eight. Late sub Pioneers get Will Powell on the field. The snap goes behind Aldana giving chase all the way down to the Lewis and Clark four. Logan Herman covers him up in a big break for the Pioneers. They'll start their opening drive at home first and goal. Lewis and Clark will be at the Whittier three. 12.03 to go first quarter and Lewis and Clark only has to go three yards to score the first points at home in 2021. Lewis and Clark first possession and Cruz Montana is the quarterback first and goal in a 0-0 game. Marcelo Lopez tied in to the left. Starting center is Michael Lloyd, the freshman for Lewis and Clark. Underneath an I formation, the deep back, Deontay Navaretti. Run left side, an easy touchdown for the Pioneers. Lewis and Clark leads 6 0. Just straight up eye formation for Lewis and Clark and the Pioneers give it a six nothing lead. After the bad snap on the punt by Whittier, PAT, Alex Koga is out there as a hold of Isaac Cordova. Cameron Chang, the snap, kick is up and through to the south side of the stadium. Pioneers catch a break and they lead seven nothing, 11.59 to go in the first quarter. From Portland, Oregon, this is Pio Stream. All right, opening kickoff, Lewis and Clark stopped Whittier, forced a punting situation. And now a bad punt put Lewis and Clark first and goal for their first possession of the game. And the Pioneers have a 7-0 lead. Whittier returns the ensuing kickoff. Gonzalez gets Whittier to a first and 10 from their own 34. Right to left. Snap to a Gonzalez out of shotgun, and the wide receiver runs right side and is stopped, maybe short of the line of scrimmage. Nice chase over there.
It might have been Alex Hensley who tracked him down. They also called Mares in on the tackle, and it's a loss of two. Pimentel is out with Tipton to his right. Right side hash mark, three receivers out to the near side, the farthest of which is Tyson Tapley, the freshman. Snap to Pimentel. Looks left screen pass, and it's over the head of Gonzalez. Incomplete. The blocking was out there from Cruz and Tapley. And the Pioneers bring up a third down, third and 12. Williams splits out to the right side. Tipton shifts to the back left. Now lined up even with Pimentel. Pioneers with five on the line. Hensley, the linebacker up on the line of scrimmage, left side. Three receivers left, third down and 12. Whistle blows before the snap, freezing the clock at 11.06. Pioneers lead 7-0. Full start, offense, number 66. Five yard penalty, still third down. That makes it a third and 17 for Whittier. The Poets were one of the best teams in 2019, 29th in the nation in penalty yards per game. And now make it a third and 17 on the second possession of the home opener against this Lewis and Clark defense. Pimentel. Gets a four-man rush, wide open through the middle, throws right side, Williams in double coverage, tipped around. Ono had his hands on it primarily for Lewis and Clark. The Pioneers 40-yard line, Williams had a shot at it afterward, but it's incomplete, brings up fourth down. So the first punt attempt Went over the head of Aldana, who sits back at the 15-yard line. Aldana gets this one cleanly. Rolls right, kicks it away. Up for Hamilton, off of his hip. Goes forward and almost a chance for Whittier to recover right away. But it's the Pioneers who jump on top of it. Nice work for Lewis and Clark by Joseph and Gonzalez to get onto it. There was a really good opportunity. Really good opportunity for Whittier. And number 31, I don't have a number for, right there to potentially pick it up and said Lewis and Clark. We'll start with 10.51 to go in quarter number one with a seven nothing lead, their second possession from their own 40. High snap brought down, and the handoff to Navaretti goes to the left side, and it's a pickup of one. Pioneers up front. They have Alex Sandoval, the freshman 6'5", 320 on the right side tackle. Matt Cassens on the left side guard, the junior at six foot inside of Campagno, the senior. 6'2", 275, handoff goes left, and Navarette has a nice space up the numbers far side to the midfield sets up a third and two for Lewis and Clark. Nathan Lean is the sophomore right guard, 6'4", 290 out of Vancouver, Washington. It's a front five for Lewis and Clark. Pioneers had had an extra lineman up front on that last play. It's actually Lean who comes out of the game. Eye formation. Lead blocker for the Pioneers is Herman. Uh, for the Pioneers is Herman. Toss play right. Navarrete's going to be close. Tackles made by Enrique Santana and short of the first down. Pioneers face a fourth and one. Pioneers were top 70 in the nation on fourth down conversions two seasons ago. Far side receivers, Jonathan Newsom, Herman blocking for Navarrete. Eye formation, double tight end set. Fourth and one from the Whittier 49. And it's a quarterback sneak. Montana carries forward and picks up two yards on a first down for Lewis and Clark. Montana didn't run well last week. Eight times minus 10 yards, but gets a key two-yard carry. 
Pioneers junior quarterback makes it first and 10. 9 10 to play first quarter, 7 0 lead. Navarrete stays in lone setback. Two receivers either side. First and 10, Whittier side of the field. An inside route cutting across left to right. Isaac Cordova incomplete just past the 40 yard line. It's a lot of traffic in there. Cordova. Transfer from Occidental sophomore, 170 pounds inside of Jonathan Newsom, the San Francisco junior on the far side, leading receiver a week ago. Elijah McGee and Verba Hamilton on the near side. Handoff Cardova, the receiver going left to right behind the formation, carries forward and down to the 32-yard line of Whittier. Mark just short at the 33, but that's a pickup of 14 and a Lewis and Clark first down. 8.50 to play, a 7-0 lead for Lewis and Clark in Montana. Has now Evan Powers to his left side. Three receivers that direction. One receiver right. Claps the hands, gets the snap, throws left. Evan Powers with the catch. Nice blocking, squeezes through. Past the 25 and toward the far sideline, right on the first down marker. And Powers with a nice catch and run. Makes it another Lewis and Clark first down. Pioneers opened up with the football after Whittier's possession ended with a bad punt. Had a first and goal scored on the very next play. Now they have a first and 10 from the Whittier 23-yard line. Handoff to Navarde, who wears 23. Cuts inside and up through for the touchdown. Lewis and Clark, an impressive drive and a big run of 23 yards by the Lewis and Clark sophomore. Navarrete has a touchdown, his second of the game. PAT is up and through Lewis and Clark up 14 to nothing on top of the Whittier Pope. So we'll be back in a moment on Pio Street. A kickoff out of bounds as Whittier gets the football back. We'll start at their own 35-yard line. Pioneers lead 14-0. Two, uh, two wide receivers either side. Snap. Pimentel throws out route. Undercut nearly picked off. Gonzalez took the short route in front of Tapley and nearly had a pick six. Incomplete. Eight oh six, first quarter, 14-0 lead for Lewis and Clark. A three-yard run and a 23-yard run by Navarrete for Lewis and Clark. Tipped in the running back for Whittier. Right to left in white. 
Pimentel with four on the play clock. Looks left. Tucks it. Runs through the middle. Sam Meinhard shifts him out to the right side and chased out of bounds in front of Hensley. Lewis and Clark. Silas Tyson was there as well. Pioneers had two takeaways in the opener against CMS. Tyson had one. It was an interception. Third down and five for Whittier. Whittier's one for three on third down so far. Third possession for the Poets. Hope dancing on the right side. Hensley blitzes from the middle. Five-person rush. Throw out route. Incomplete. And Mares was on top of the intended receiver. And likely a penalty against the Pioneers. Looks like Cruz out there. Defense, number 22. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Please. First penalty against the Pios, but that converts the third down for Whittier. And the Poets now right shy of midfield, down 14 0, seven and a half to play, first quarter. First and 10 right hash marks, three receivers left, Williams to the right. Handoff through the middle and right into Meinhard. The carry goes to Tipton for a gain of one. Gonzalez played in the first meeting between Lewis and Clark and Whittier. I should say the last meeting. The receiver's slot on the near side. Moises Gonzalez. Picked up 179 yards receiving in that first game two years ago to open the season back in 2019. Second and nine from midfield for Whittier. The rain coming down. Pimentel has hope in his face throws. Williams catches it on the out route left side and is twisted down by Gonzalez after a gain of three. This is probably the steadiest rain we've had in the last couple of hours. And it's blowing slightly in the face of Whittier as they go right to left, trailing 14-0 with 6.23 to play in the first quarter. Two receivers either side, third and six from the Lewis and Clark, 47 for Whittier. Tight coverage up by the DBs, one safety back. Snap, rush on the right, Pimentel throws. Seamro caught by Gonzalez through the 25, out to the left side numbers and ridden down by Tyson just shy of the five yard line. A 42 yard pickup. And there's Gonzalez. First and goal, Whittier trying to cut into a 14 0 deficit. Williams goes to the far side. Inside of him, the slot receiver, Gonzalez, had the big catch to set up this first and goal from the Lewis and Clark five. Snap, Pimentel, handoff, tipped in through the middle. Good acceleration, good initial run, and a pickup of three sets up second and goal for Whittier. David Seha makes the tackle for Lewis and Clark. Clock winds to the five-minute mark opening quarter. Thanks for joining us for the opening game of the year at Griswold Stadium. After that really bad snap on the first possession, Whittier now in positive yardage. Second and goal from the Lewis and Clark two, tipped in the running back. Handoff to Tipton one more time. And this time, the initial surge was not nearly as good as that first down play. He stopped shy after a gain of one. Hensley and Seha help make the stop. Maybe a half yard. Third down and goal, Whittier. From the Lewis and Clark, two. Flip-flop the formation. Now Gonzalez stays in the backfield. Split backs to either side of Pimentel. 
third and goal. Snap, Pimentel, handoff, Gonzalez squeezes through the middle. Nice hole. And it's a touchdown for Whittier. Fourteen six, Lewis and Clark's lead now eight. PAT pending for Whittier. They gave it to Tipton twice in a row. The senior was stopped. So they go to Gonzalez, who squeezes through. Noah Handel out there for the PAT. Penalty marker out as the kick is up and through. Initial signal, an offside call against Lewis and Clark. The officials, Seth Neeson is the referee. Todd Ludke is the umpire. Sean Walker, the head's lineman, Gus Morrison, the line judge. Penalties declined, and the PAT is good. Joe Horn is the side judge. Eric Stoffer is the field judge, and John Kazmierski is the back judge. 14-7, Lewis and Clark's lead is 7. 4.03 to go in the first quarter from Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. This is PioStream. Fourteen seven, the lead for Lewis and Clark, and thick rain now falling in Portland, Oregon. Kick sends Verba Hamilton all the way back to the end zone, and watches it go in for a touchback. Pioneers will start their third possession, deepest territory yet. Scoring drive, eight plays, sixty-five yards for Whittier. Two-yard touchdown run by Gonzalez. Pioneers went one play, three yards, never at touchdown, and the eight plays, 58 yards, just under three minutes, 23-yard touchdown run by Navarrete. So Pioneers lead 14-7. Third possession, Pioneers are two for two scoring so far today. Outgaining Whittier 62 yards to 33. Montana, the shotgun quarterback, Navarrete to his left, or excuse me, right, play action, throw deep route, open, McGee, down the field, caught! And then dropped at the 40 on his back left hip, couldn't haul it in at the Whittier 40-yard line. McGee is the big play receiver for Lewis and Clark, could not haul that one in. Had the longest reception of the season for the Pio. It was a 31-yarder last week against CMS. He had that if he had hauled it in at the start. Second and 10, Lewis and Clark from its own 25. Screen play, Navaret caught out of the backfield, heading right side, and then gets low, runs over the defender. Seth Morrison, and carries across the numbers up to the 31, a gain of six. Pioneers shift to a different quarterback. Snap, running right side is Trey Morris and squeezes through. Works the right side and the six foot, 200, 200 pound quarterback out of Seattle has a pickup of eight. Three twenty one to go first quarter. Montana is back in for the Pioneers leading 14-7. Three receivers left, ball on the right side hash mark with Verba Hamilton split out that direction. Throw high over the head of McGee and incomplete. <laughs> the rain is shifting 
Again, it's pretty thick still, but now it's blowing in the face of the Pioneers. Nothing ridiculous. The flag, which is out in the south side of the field, is hanging straight downward, but it's shifted, going thwarting the offense. Whoever has the ball so far, Navarrete, second down and 10. Carry, good hole and good space up the near side numbers across the 50 and into Whittier territory. A carry that gets down to the 47. A gain of 15 for the Piles. Navarrete's having a game, two touchdowns. And moves Lewis and Clark back into Whittier territory. First and 10 from the Poets, 47. Leading 14-7, three even to play in the first. Hand off Navarrete, right side, another big hole. Went to the left side of Kaysen, who opened up some space. Campagno's down to pick him up. As the carry goes to the 38, a pickup of nine for Lewis and Clark. Pio's rolling with a 14-7 lead. McGee goes left side. Three receivers that direction. Cordova, Newsom the wide out. Montana drops back in the shotgun. Second and one. Navarrete right side and has to kind of run over his own teammate. Jacob Hayes makes the tackle for Whittier. Off the pile, Cameron Kimball gets up as well. Some of the other starters, Nicholas Hanamakai. Hanamakai is out there. Alex Ortiz Valenzuela, the near side corner is Andres Rulcaba. First down and 10, that was enough for the first down. Lewis and Clark at the Whittier 36, snap to Montana, up at the helmet, pushed as he throws, caught by Powers. And a minor gain, this time four yards, as Lewis and Clark's getting chunks of yardage on the third possession of the game for the Pios, down to the 32 of Whittier, leading 14-7 with two minutes to play in the first. Sandoval and Lean on the right side of the line for the Pioneers. Lloyd is the freshman center. Snap to Montana. Powers pulls it away. Montana keeps it. Goes right side. Breaks an ankle tackle across the 30 and out of bounds near the 26. The quarterback, Cruz Montana, picks up six. Hard fought and a first down for Lewis and Clark. Pioneers started from their own 25. Pioneers working hard to shift personnel. 16 on the play clock. They end up keeping the primary package out there with the three receivers, McGee, Cordova, and Newsom to the left. Running backs, Navarrete. Right side, Verva Hamilton. First and 10, Whittier, 26-yard line. Pio is up by seven. Snap, Montana. Play action throws inside route. Verva Hamilton hauls it in up at the helmet. Cutting inside right to left. And near the right side, hash marks has a pickup all the way to the Whittier seven yard line. 19 yard gain for Verva Hamilton. Pioneers first and goal. Pioneers scored on a 23 yard touchdown run by Navarrete last time out. Second goal to go possession in three series for Lewis and Clark. Minute nine in the first, under center, Montana. Hand off left, stretch play, Navarrete to the goal line. He's in for a third time. Touchdown, Lewis and Clark. The Pioneers lead 20 to seven with a minute one remaining. Koga's two for two on PATs in the game. This one is up and through as well. Minute one remaining opening quarter in the 2021 home opener for the Pioneers. They lead 21-7 over Whittier from Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. This is Pio Street.
21-7 lead, Lewis and Clark. An 11-play, 75-yard drive, 3.02 off the clock. The Pioneers, 3-for-3 three three scoring touchdowns on their opening possession, or rather their opening quarter of their home opener. Kickoff goes to Williams near side. Between the numbers and hash, Williams behind blockers. Good squeeze through and up to the 32-yard line, a return of about 25 yards. Touchdown for Lewis and Clark. Man, Navarrete's had quite a game today. Pioneers went on that stretch play off to the left-hand side. And really impressive the way that this works so far for Lewis and Clark. A default freshman, he's listed as a sophomore, but a lot of these years you'll hear us reference in this game are academic years, right? They've been on campus for two years, but this is the freshman season of eligibility for Deontay Navarrete, six foot two fifteen sophomore out of Woodburn, Oregon. First and ten snap for Whittier from the 32 and met immediately. The reception's made by Cruz on the far side, and Ono was there to take him down, a loss back to the 30. Both teams winless so far this year. 0-2 Whittier, 0-1 Lewis and Clark. Whittier facing a second and 12 from the 32. Snap to Pimentel. Throws, slant route, off the hands of Gonzalez and incomplete was open, cutting left to right. It's incomplete near the Whittier 36, stops the clock with 12 seconds left, third down and 12. Bleemer Chang, and then we've identified Rams and Paws is the interior lineman up front. Paz is a sophomore out of Hawaii, 6'1", 270. Laying on the left side defensive end, third and 12 for Whittier. Three receivers left, tipped in the running back. Snap to Pimentel. Gets the pocket collapsed, pushed, and sacked. Ari Bleemer gets this one back to the 22. And that is the first sack of the season for Lewis and Clark, and that's how the first quarter comes to a close. Lewis and Clark, three for three, scoring touchdowns on possessions in the first. And we break away with Lewis and Clark leading 21-7 over the Whittier Poets from Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. This is Pio Street. Start of the second quarter, Whittier has to punt it away. So far today, an average of 34 yards per punt. In fact, this is just the second punt of the game. Aldana sees it bounce on the Whittier side, roll left to right, and into Lewis and Clark territory, brought down at about the 42-yard line. No return for Lewis and Clark, leading 21-7 over Whittier. First half moves into the second quarter on the home opener for the Pioneers. Rainy and in the upper 50s in Portland, Oregon. Pioneers have not played on this field since November 2019, but lead 21-7 over Whittier, the 2021 home opener. First and 10, Lewis and Clark in black unis, orange and white trim, black helmets right to left. First and 10 from its own 43-yard line, and Navarrete another handoff. And the sophomore running back in his home debut 
having a stellar outing, picks up a quick seven yards to midfield. Now has a total of 76 yards on the day. Three touchdowns for Navarrete. Pioneers quickly the line, second and three from midfield. Snap to Montana, play action. Montana throws right, wide open, caught at the 38-yard line. Receptions made by Devin Guest. Second wide receiver to receive a ball today. Cruz Montana, four of seven in the first quarter and found two running backs in Verba Hamilton. First and 10 to the Whittier, 39. Pioneers fast tempo, 21-7 lead. Handoff goes right and McGee Good initial move, and then hit hard by Cameron Kimball. Picks up two. Pioneers, nine first downs to Whittier's three in the first quarter. Held Whittier to negative 31 on the ground while picking up 98 of their own rushing yards. In total offense, Pioneers end the first quarter up 137 to 23. Pioneers one for two on third down. They haven't faced many third downs. This is a second and seven out route out of the backfield. Pass is caught and slammed down just across the 35. That's Powers who made the catch and the tackles made by Mark Martinez. Third down and five for Lewis and Clark. Pioneers a touchdown drive, one play, four yards to open the game. Eight plays, 58 yards. And then last one of the first quarter, 11 plays, 75 yards. Lewis and Clark, all touchdown runs by Navarrete. Handoff on third down to Powers. And pounced upon, brought down right side by Omar Lua. One of the Pioneers' first negative plays, loss of two back to the Whittier 36-yard line. Pioneers in shotgun, Montana motions Cordova right to left in the formation. Snap to Montana. Good protection, high though, intended on the outside for Guest and incomplete. So Pioneers on fourth down, go for it, incomplete, and turn it over on downs. So first time the Pioneers come up empty on any possession in this game, 12.46 to go second quarter. And a 21-7 lead, Whittier back out. Going left to right now in white. Second quarter, first possession for Whittier. They start from their own 36-yard line. Running back either side, Gonzalez is to the right side. Oh, excuse me, that's Tipton. Gonzalez to the left. He gets the handoff. He tries to squirt through the right side, and Jake Bushman able to get the tackle for no gain, cutting in from the linebacker spot. Whittier opened up, had the punt after six plays, Snap went over the head of Aldana and went all the way to the Whittier three-yard line. Lewis and Clark ran a first and goal play and scored. Second possession ended in a three and out punt by Whittier. Then they scored. One-yard touchdown run by Moises Gonzalez and then punted on the last possession. This is series number five for the Poets, left to right. Second down and ten. Whittier's 36, hit as he throws Pimentel, airs it out left side, Williams makes the catch, waited for it, and corralled it near the left hip at the 41 of Lewis and Clark. It's a 13-yard first down gain, and Pimentel got hit hard on that play. He's been sacked once. DJ Smith in on the defensive line for the Pios, junior 5'11", 264 out of Las Vegas. Lemer, interior defensive lineman Lang and Chang are the ends. Hope, Bushman, and Hensley, the linebackers. First and 10, Whittier from the 41 of Lewis and Clark, trailing 21-7, early second. Rolling right, Pimentel throws a wobbly ball intended for Gonzalez out of his reach and thrown to the near sideline at the 20-yard line. Brings up second down. Herb, Charles, Ramirez, Megadan, and Ramirez, the offensive line for Whittier. Williams, senior receiver, left side. Gonzalez, 
The inside most of the three to the right, tipped in the running back. Second down and 10 from the Lewis and Clark 41. Snap to Pimentel and a draw. Left side, Tipton leaps forward, got away from Bushman, who was going low for the tackle and flew straight into his teammate, Ramirez. Flied right into his center. Gain of three. Pioneers yesterday in practice were dousing the football with water, anticipating rainy conditions today in Portland, and that's exactly what it is. Heavy rain, third down and eight. Lewis and Clark, 39-yard line. Left to right, left hash mark. Pioneers doing well on third down today, rush four. Pimentel steps up. Chang had a hand on him, works forward in the pocket, and is stood up shy of the 40. Second Pioneer sack of the day. Hope and Bleemer come out and likely credited with a half a sack each. Fourth down for Whittier. Whittier 3 is 7 on third down. They've tried once to go for it on fourth down. Unsuccessfully. Fourth and 10 for Whittier from the Lewis and Clark 41. And Pimentel brings it down and punts it away. Pooch punt bounces at the 20 and rolls toward the 10 and goes to die there. Punt of 31 yards by Pimentel. Lewis and Clark back out. Fifth possession for the Pios, starting from their own 10-yard line. Field position so far has been fairly kind to Lewis and Clark. Montana 6-10 for 52 yards. Navarrete 10 rushes, 76 yards, averaging 7.6 per carry. In the backfield, first and 10 handoff, Navarrete through the middle, stumbled, got his footing back, cuts it to the left side, 20, 30, up the near side sideline and out of bounds caught from behind that's Lua but not till Navarrete reaches the Whittier 47 yard line a 43 yard run Navarrete's had a big run of 23 already in this game that one goes for 43 first and 10 from the Whittier 47 Handoff, left side, squeezing through. Way to wait for the blocking. Navarrete up the numbers, 45-40. And down to the 38-yard line. Hayes made the tackle. Gain of eight for Lewis and Clark. Pio's trying to add to a 21-7 lead. Offense has been stellar so far, and a lot of that because of Navarrete. Six foot, 215. And the running back is over 100 yards for the day. Left hash mark, second and one from the Whittier 38. Handoff, never a huge hole left side. 35-30, breaks a tackle and taken down by two Poet defenders at the 29-yard line. Abdul Kawai comes up to make the stop with Santana. First down, Lewis and Clark, 9-0-1 to play second quarter. The 21-7 lead at home, trying to make it four of five points to drives. Three receivers right for Lewis and Clark. Keegan Holly, the middle of three. Hand off. Give. This time it's Tony Rangel. And Rangel up the left side hash marks. And again uh, to the 19. That's a first down. Navarrete comes back in. The Pioneers do have Marcus Lattimore, the former All SEC and San Francisco 49ers running back, as their new running backs coach. He's signaling in plays from Joe Bushman, the offensive coordinator. Handoff, Navarrete left side on first and 10. And the penalty marker comes out, ran toward Campagno's side. And got to the 15-yard line awaiting the penalty. Pioneers have been whistled once, as has Whittier in the game. Holding, offense, number 51. 10-yard penalty, replay, first down. They say Kasson has the penalty, and it's good to have fans back at Griswold Stadium. Everyone following the Lewis and Clark spectators policy. 
You can find it on the website, but there was no football last year for Lewis and Clark. Neither was there for Whittier. But sports resuming in fall 2021 with fans. First down and 18 for Lewis and Clark from the 27-yard line of Whittier, leading 21-7, eight-minute mark of the second. Handoff, Navarrete, good push by the defensive front for Whittier. Navarrete, a rare loss. The main push came through for the Poets by Mark Martinez. And it's a loss back to the Whittier 29-yard line. Whistle before the snap. Timeout on the field for the Piles. So they say Lewis and Clark took the timeout. Each team has used a timeout so far in this game. 7.45 to play. The opening half, 21-7 lead for Lewis and Clark. Pioneers in the home opener have touchdown runs by Navarrete of three yards, 23 yards, and seven yards. Moises Gonzalez, a one-yard run to cap off an eight-play drive for Whittier. The 21-7 lead for Lewis and Clark. The rain intensifying as this half has progressed. Powers is the running back after the Lewis and Clark timeout. Pioneers facing a second down and 20. The Whittier 29-yard line. Big 43-yard run by Navarrete on this play. A blitz from Whittier. Throw deep left. Looking for McGee. Hauled it in with the outstretched hands. Left side touchdown. Lewis and Clark. McGee brings in his first touchdown of the year. First career touchdown on the pass from Montana. His second TD pass of the year. And the Pioneers extend their lead to 20. PAT from Koga, who's 3 of 3. Cardova hold. Nice snap from Chang. Put down and through. And the Pioneers with 7.39 to play. Second quarter have a 28-7 edge over the Whittier Poets. From Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon, this is Pio Street. Seven thirty-nine remaining in the second quarter. Twenty-eight-seven lead for Lewis and Clark over the Whittier Poets. Seven-play, ninety-yard drive. Pioneers started at their own ten-yard line and finished off with a twenty-nine-yard touchdown pass to Elijah McGee. His first career touchdown pass. And they're very excited about McGee. Kickoff fielded by Williams up the far side hash marks and into a cluster of Pios. Taken down finally by Keegan Hawley at the 35. Whittier. It's four wins and 36 games under head coach Mike Neal. Lewis and Clark, meanwhile, had a four and five year last time out, which was the fifth season of head coach Jay Losey's tenure as the Pioneers head coach. Helped oversee Lewis and Clark snapping a 30 plus game winless streak. 
spanning from before Losey got the program into his tenure. First and 10, Lewis and Clark on defense. Whittier has the ball, first and 10 from its own 35 throws, and intercepted at the 45. That's Morris. Anakin has space, rolling left, leaps over a defender and gets to the Whittier 21-yard line. About a 32-yard return for last year's defense or last week's defensive leader, Anakin Morris. And the first takeaway for the Pios two years ago, it was a turnover cowboy hat, and Morris dons it again in 2021. Pioneers with the interception. Lewis and, Clark, Lewis and Clark's third of the year. They start at the Whittier 21 with a 28-7 lead. Handoff Navarrete's low tackle. It's enough to bring him down. It was Kimball who hit him low. Five-yard gain. Pioneers 177 rushing yards heading into this series. 137 from Navarrete. He's the lone setback on second down and five. Under center, Montana turns and hands, and Navarrete held on to for dear life. It's Nick Martinez, or excuse me, rather, Mark Martinez, keeping a hold of the right leg of Navarrete, gain of one. 6.40 to play second quarter. 28-7 lead for Lewis and Clark. One of the questions was, how would Lewis and Clark replace Michael Abraham, who was 42nd in the country in rush TDs back in 2019. Handoff left side on third down. Navarrete Sutters waits for the block and gets forward to the 10-yard line. Waited for the block from Marcelo Lopez, the tight end, to materialize and squeezed off his right hip and a first down carry to the 10-yard line. Pioneers convert a third down. Pioneers are two of four on third down so far today. And now a first and goal for Lewis and Clark just inside the Whittier 10-yard line. Neverett stays in. Cardova and Newsom split out to the right. Snap with two tight ends. Handoff, Navarrete left side. And positive yardage. Tackles made by Aaron Martinez for Whittier. Aaron Martinez was in on that initial kickoff return by Lewis and Clark. Made a... Or sadly, rather, was a punt, the first punt by Whittier, and nearly recovered a muffed return attempt by Verba Hamilton. The Pioneers did get that back. Second and goal from the Whittier eight. Snap to Montana, passing all the way, looks left, throws over the middle, and off the chest of Verba Hamilton, incomplete, about the eight yard line. That's Cordova, excuse me, Cordova, incomplete. So third and goal for Lewis and Clark, trying to add to a 28-7 lead. Five and a half to play, quarter number two. Montana has not thrown that much in this game. That was just the 12th attempt of the junior quarterback. He's under center. Up. Fullback is Adrian Daffy, the tight end. Play action, rolling right, throw to Daffy. Went out to the right side, caught it. The basket-style catch was tackled at the five-yard line. Play made by Blake Boucher. Pioneers send out the field goal unit. They'll use Huxley Richardson for this one. The freshman's in the game. Koga, who's kicked all the PATs, missed two field goals. One was blocked against CMS. And then Richardson hit a 26-yarder. He'll take this one from the right side hash. A 22-yard attempt for the freshman. Chang is the snapper. Snap, place, kick is up and through. 22-yard field goal after the INT. And the Pioneers lead 31-7 over Whittier. 4.44 to go in the second quarter. From Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon, this is Pio Stream.
444 to go. Lewis and Clark leads 31-7 in the second quarter. The kickoffs have all been fairly short. Received this one shy of the 20. Up the far side hash marks. And Gonzalez had the ball pop free. It's still loose. Remember, it's wet. And the Pioneers, with that second opportunity at it, may have recovered. I think Nando Magallanes has the football, but there's no official signal yet. Magallanes got out of the scrum with the football. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the kicking team. First down, Lewis and Clark. That was... Pioneers have the football first and 10 after the second straight takeaway. Pitch back play, Navarrete right side and easily has yardage up the sideline near the 20, but a penalty marker trailed the play. Navarrete initially a gain of about 19 yards on first down. Pioneers just had a seven play 16 yard drive result in a field goal. Holding, offense number 12, 10 yard penalty. Replay, first down. Pioneers now with three penalties, 29 yards. 4.28 to play in the second quarter. 31-7 lead for Lewis and Clark. Backed up to the 45 of Whittier. So an interception by Mares set up the last drive. And Lewis and Clark starts from the Whittier 39 on the fumble on the kickoff. Motion Cordova to the formation, pitch to him, he runs right, untouched to the 30, 25 and out of bounds. Cordova had a ton of space. First down Pioneers, down to the 24 of Whittier. Time of possession is really starting to get out of hand, but maybe not in the traditional sense, I'll explain. First and 10 Whittier playing defense for what seemed like the whole quarter so far. Pioneers at the Whittier 24, first to 10 with the ball. Snap, Navarrete gets the handoff and Montana went in there to block. Got knocked down. Carry up to the Whittier 20 yard line, down to it rather, the 20. 24 to the 20, a gain of four. So the Pioneers time of possession, they don't have a big edge, it's about even. But the Pioneers, have seemingly had the football and then scored quickly this whole second quarter. Montana play action, seam route, high ball, and it's incomplete, intended for Cordova on the seam route. It was right at the goal line, too high for Cordova, makes it third down. Coverage there by Rul Kaba. Third down and six. Lewis and Clark from the Whittier 20 trying to cash in on back-to-back -back turnovers by the Poets. Montana calls for the snap pitch play right. Navarrete cuts inside. Good job by Mark Martinez to close the option to the right. So Navarrete cut it back to the left and is tackled after a gain of three. Pioneers on third down. Two of five now, but they've converted one of two on fourth down. In fact, Pioneer's first time not scoring in this game was on a fourth down try. They turned it over on downs. Fourth down and three. And whistle blows, penalty marker out before the snap. Stops the clock, 3.13 to play until half. We'll start, offense, number 15. Five yard penalty, start indicated. still fourth down. So that's the third penalty in the quarter, I believe, for Lewis and Clark. Moves it back to a fourth and nine. Whittier 23 yard line. Lewis and Clark leading 31 7. Ben Burnham's in, slot receiver left. Pass goes that direction, looking for Burnham at the goal line and incomplete. Coverage was there by Boucher, face guarding. The freshman wideout, the sophomore specifically, Ben Burnham from Burbank, California. The 
the Pioneers turn it over on downs. Remains 31-7. Lewis and Clark up with 3.02 to play. And Whittier's offense comes back out. Last offensive possession for the Poets. And the Kinmaras picked off Pimentel. Stands back at the 17-yard line. Waits the snap first and 10. Throws left. Out route Williams. Nice reception. A gain of 11 on the far sideline. Total yardage, 271 for Lewis and Clark, 46 for Whittier. Chang and Sehar, the defensive ends, Bleemer and Smith in the interior defensive line. Pioneers have a new look at linebacker, too. Low snap, Pimentel throws to the near side over the head of Williams and incomplete. Gonzalez on the coverage. Meinhard's out there at linebacker. He's played a good amount of time so far. But Josh Dozer comes out. Dozer in his junior year out of San Diego. The near side linebacker of the three. Far side is Jordan Fajardo, the sophomore from Carson, California. Pioneer shifts Sammy Gonzalez to the near side corner position. Gonzalez, Joseph Gonzalez on the right side. Second down and 10, Pimentel tucks it. It was a little bit too late, and Seha gets the third Pioneer sack back to the 28. Loss of six. That's going to be third and plus 10 for Whittier, trailing 31-7 with 2.12 to go. Third down, 16. Ono at the near side safety spot. Inagi at the far side. Third down and 16. Three receivers right. Ball on the left side. Hash mark for Whittier. Pimentel waits till the clock gets down to two. Snaps the ball. Sets. Throws. Looking for Williams. Intercepted! Nearly! By Joseph Gonzalez. He had it in. And then Williams hit Gonzalez. And the ball came free. I thought Gonzalez had it until he got hit. It was in front of Williams and made the play. It's now fourth down and another punt for Whittier. Aldana stands back at the Whittier 15 yard line. Verva Hamilton waits to receive. Angled toward the near sideline and bounces. About the Lewis and Clark 46, takes a forward roll across the 40 and comes to rest near the 36 of Lewis and Clark. 36 yard punt for Whittier and Lewis and Clark has a chance to add points with a minute 29 remaining in the first half already with a 31-7 lead. It's been really Deontay Navarrete, the showstopper so far for Lewis and Clark. First three touchdowns scored by the sophomore. Never had a four-yard run, 23-yard run, and seven-yard run. And drives of a play. Eight plays and eight plays, respectively. 23-yard field goal by Richardson and Elijah McGee's 29-yard touchdown reception. In the second quarter, the difference. Newsom had it separated and incomplete. That was a play that seemingly was near a Whittier turnover because you saw Newsom come in and catch it about the Whittier 47 yard line and look to start moving up field. The ball came separated. They said it was incomplete to the officials. So Newsom still without a catch after hauling in five last week. Second and 10 from the Lewis and Clark 36 yard line. Cruz Montana's the quarterback. Navarrete the running back to his right. McGee and Newsom near side. Cordova in the slot with Verba Hamilton right side. Montana the snap. Play action. Wide open. Newsom at the 40. Dropped it. Incomplete. And it's third down.
Montana with three receivers to the right. Gets the snap. Screen pass. Navarrete out of the backfield. Mark Martinez. Oh, excuse me, rather, Aaron Martinez was around him right away and kind of stalled that play out. And timeout Whittier with a minute two remaining. Timeout, timeout on the field. Their second timeout. Game clock operator, please set the clock to 103. So it'll be a minute three left. Lewis and Clark facing a fourth and eight. 0-1 oh on the year, lost 34-10 to CMS last weekend. Pioneers had a 10-7 lead in that game at halftime. CMS traditionally one of the better teams out of the Skyac, from which Whittier is a member as well. Jay Losey, seventh year head coach, 92 and 56 for his career. A national title in 04 while head coach of Linfield has Joe Bushman back. His second year calling plays, third season overall, as last year Lewis and Clark did not have a season. He's the offensive coordinator and assistant head coach out of Clackamas High School, where he won a state title. Richardson back to punt, averages 33 yards per kick. First one today. Stands back at the 23. Moises Gonzalez back at the Whittier 25 to receive. Freshman kicker. Wobbly bounces near the 50 and just jumps up and down and actually rolls backward. Not a good kick. A net punt of 11 yards. So with them 52 seconds remaining and Whittier with one timeout. Possibility for Whittier. Trailing 31-7 with 52 seconds left in the half. Pioneers bring back out Hope, Hensley, and Bushman as the linebackers. Mar is the defensive back near side. Pimentel starts from the Lewis and Clark 49. Running back is Tipton. Pimentel throws immediately to Gonzalez, caught at the 45, stays inbounds, then gets out near the 44. Marked out at the 43, a gain of six. 46 seconds left. Pimentel is a sophomore from Whittier. Coming into the series, 6 of 14, 77 yards. Whittier with one timeout, second and four from the Lewis and Clark, 43. Three receivers right. Gonzalez has had the best game so far. Whittier offensively nearest to the line on the right side. Williams split out to the left. Lewis and Clark, 43. Four-man rush. Pimentel airs at left sideline into double coverage and nearly intercepted, dropped at the 16-yard line. That was Yanagi, the safety. 40 seconds remaining, third down in four for Whittier. Gonzalez has a one-yard touchdown run and three catches for 53 yards in the game. Gonzalez left side with Williams on third down and four. Gonzalez in the slot, left side hash mark, Pimentel. Pioneers blitz, throw a Pimentel to the near side, incomplete out route for Cruz. Mares tried to undercut it, Ono had the coverage, incomplete fourth down for Whittier with 37 seconds, trailing 31-7. This might be the slowest moment of the game so far. Both teams up until this point have done a tremendous job of keeping the tempo. Gonzalez to the right side of the formation now. 31-7 deficit for Whittier. 37 seconds left in the second quarter. Fourth and far from the Lewis and Clark 43-yard line. Tipton motions out right side. Pimentel throws left side. Cruz over his head. Can't bring it down. Kind of lunging backward near the Lewis and Clark 33. Coverage by Hensley. And a turnover on downs. The Pioneers with 33 seconds and a timeout. Could score some points. Lewis and Clark has the right to the football in the second half. A 
They start at their own 43-yard line. There's usually a really cool drive chart at lcpioneers.com. And I'm not seeing it today. Where's the drive chart? I love that thing. Montana, the quarterback, first and 10, right to left in black. Lewis and Clark, Montana, steps up in the pocket, wanted to go deep, then bailed on it and is sacked. Brought down by Hayes at the 40-yard line. And the clock continues to wind. And the Pioneers let the clock go all the way down to 13. Again, Lewis and Clark has the right to the football in the second half, and it looks like Lewis and Clark leading 31-7. We'll take it. Good start as the rain subsides late into the second quarter. From Griswold Stadium, Fred Wilson Field on the campus of Lewis and Clark College. At the end of the first half, the Lewis and Clark Pioneers 31, Whittier Poets 7. We'll return for more from Lewis and Clark College and the second half of this Lewis and Clark home football opener. We'll give you some updates at halftime of what's going on elsewhere in Lewis and Clark athletics. It's halftime from Portland. Pioneers lead 31-7 on PioStream. should take an uh, intro to chemistry because um, the chemistry department here is phenomenal. Um, everyone I've known has had a good experience with everyone in that department, so I think it was a worthwhile course to take. What is one class that everyone should take at Lewis and Clark? Um, I really enjoyed education in a complex world. You kind of get to discuss all the issues that exist within education today, and you get to kind of explore that by going to classrooms firsthand and volunteering with children, which I thought was a really wonderful experience. One class that everybody should take at Lewis and Clark is anything with Kuhn Dietrin, though. Um, I think he definitely changed how I thought about rhetoric and media studies and just education in general. For me, it was international affairs, just intro to international affairs, because I think uh, it really gives a good perspective on important issues around the world. My favorite spot on campus is like right outside the Dovecote, little benches and there's flowers growing there and you can get a little coffee at the Dovecote and sit there. My favorite spot on campus is definitely the weight room. Um, I get that uh, everybody loves like the gardens or uh, the manor house, but um, our facilities for athletics here are actually amazing too and the weight room is definitely my favorite spot. My favorite spot on campus um, would either be the Glade outside of the athletic facilities or the South Campus. What is my favorite spot on campus? I really like the back porch of the Manor House. Um, it looks out on Mount Hood and on a clear day it's super beautiful just to sit around with friends. Casey Jones and I teach a range of classes, general chemistry, organic chemistry, and also some advanced classes. And I have a research lab that currently I have four students working with me um, as part of the Rogers program. The summer experience is a way to get really deeply involved. Jones and I teach a range of classes, general chemistry, organic chemistry, and also some advanced classes. And I have a research lab that currently I have four students working with me um, as part of the Rogers program. 
the summer experience is a way to get really deeply involved in the science that is here and be able to um, start to define what might be what you want to do next. So the brown bag gives our students a chance to explain their research and really show the context and the application of what they're doing to a very broad range of students and faculty. It's interesting to be able to communicate to other scientists what your work is and it forces you to learn how to talk about your subject so that not only experts in your field can understand it, but others can understand that as well, which I just believe is a good life skill. To talk about your research in a way that anybody can understand it really is a valuable experience, and it's something that you don't get a lot of practice for except in these contexts, because oftentimes you're giving a presentation to a classroom filled with people who know basically the same things that you do, but in a brown bag, you have to be able to um, explain and provide motivation for everything that you're working on and why it's important and why it's relevant to be studying. I'm Ann Bentley, I'm an Associate Professor of Chemistry, and in this research group, I supervise the two students working in the Rogers program this summer in our lab. The Brown Bag Experience is a good chance for students to get experience presenting their work that they've done in the lab, especially to an audience that's not technical. What's intriguing about the Brown Bag Experience is it incorporates all of the Rogers program, so I'm able to hear people in the psychology department and what research they're doing, but it also gives us, gives us the opportunity to share our research with the greater science community at Lewis and Clark. And for incoming students, um, the summer program is really beneficial for getting opportunity in research. So um, I've had the opportunity for research in the past, but other students may not have the same opportunities. So it's nice to work in a professional lab setting and potentially have the opportunity to publish a paper, which looks really good moving on into uh, doing um, professional research out in the field. The students grow a lot during the summer in their ability to learn the techniques and apply the techniques and suggest their own ideas for what could come next and interpret their data. It's just a big, if, usually if they haven't done research before, they learn a lot in that short period of time. plays respectively. 23-yard field goal by Richardson and Elijah McGee's 29-yard touchdown reception in the second quarter. The difference. Newsom had it separated and incomplete.
Pioneers have the football first and ten after the second straight takeaway. Pitch back play, Navarrete right side and easily has yardage up the sideline near the 20, but a penalty marker trail. For Whittier, four down linemen for Lewis and Clark. High snap, Pimentel play fake, runs right behind. Here's 10 yards per return, stands back at the Lewis and Clark 25. Fourth down and eight. Late sub, Pioneers get Will Powell on the field. The snap goes behind Aldana, giving chase all the way down to the Lewis and Clark. Starting center is Michael Lloyd, the freshman for Lewis and Clark. Underneath an I formation, the deep back, Deontay Navaretti. Run left side, an easy touchdown for the Pioneers. Lewis and Clark lead. Williams splits out to the right side, Tipton shifts to the back left, 
now lined up even with Pimentel. Pioneers with five on the line. Hensley, the linebacker up on the line of scrimmage, left side. Three receivers left. Third down and 12. Whistle. Had a first and goal scored on, scored on the very next play. Now they have a first and 10 from the Whittier 23 yard line. Handoff to Navarde, who wears 23. Cuts inside and up.
Back at Griswold Stadium, Lewis and Clark leading 31-7 to over the top of the Whittier Poets. Ryan Goff back with you at Griswold Stadium. Fred Wilson Field on the beautiful Lewis and Clark College campus. The uh, sun emerging slightly after it had been mostly rainy the entire first half. That's the halftime score, 31-7. And it's really been Deontay Navaretti. Navarrete, uh, who's been just the outstanding story in this game for Lewis and Clark. In his very first home college football game has been stellar. 160 yards, three touchdowns on 22 carries. He's averaging 7.3 yards per carry. And Lewis and Clark deferred to start the game. So the Pioneers get the right to the football to start the second half. Right to left kickoff for Whittier. That's Noah Handel, and it's fielded by Verba Hamilton. Aiden Verba Hamilton up the near hash marks and spins outside. Gets a little bit of space for maybe an additional yard. Brought down about the 26-yard line. Tackle was made by Juan Estrada. Pioneers lead 31-7, 16-5 edge in first downs. And now gaining Whittier 305-57. to Pioneers quarterback Cruz Montana in the first half 10 of 19 107 yards and a touchdown that was a 29 yard reception by Elijah McGee for his first Pios touchdown ever offside kicking team number 52 five yard penalty will be added to the end of the run first down Lewis and Clark and that's the official referee Seth Neeson and so Cruz Montana back out to start the second half for Lewis and Clark Pioneers going left to right in black unis, orange numbers, orange and white trim with black helmets. New this year, they have numbers on the left side of the helmet with the interlocking L and C on the right side. Michael Lloyd is the freshman center. Three receivers left, one to the right, first and 10, Lewis and Clark. From their own 31, pass caught right side near the 40. Penalty marker out almost simultaneously as it's hauled in by Verba Hamilton. Just underway in the third quarter, Pioneers up 31 7. An eligible receiver downfield, offense number 55. Five yard penalty, replay, first down. Campagno got two down the field before the pass play so first and 15 Lewis and Clark back to its own 26 Jonathan Newsom the wide receiver out to the top side of the formation three receivers that direction play action Montana going deep near side Verba Hamilton caught on the stride at the 40 and is brought down inside the 30 beat Andres Rukaba and that's a huge gain for the Pioneers It's a 49-yard reception for Verba Hamilton, the longest pass play of the year for the Pios. First and 10, Whittier 25, snap. Navarrete to the left side, breaks a tackle down low, spun between the hash marks, and is down near the 15-yard line, mark it at the 16. And that is a gain of nine. Pioneers have Matt Casson and Nathan Lean as the interior guards, Alex Sandoval and Mercury Campagno as the tackles, right side, Navarrete out to the 13 yard line. First down carry for the Pios, just the first minute gone by. But a 49 yard pass to Verba Hamilton. Another big play for the Pioneers. They had a 43 yard run earlier in this game, and a 23 yard run by Navarrete. Excuse me, Navarrete, who's on the right, the left side of the formation. Montana pulls down, runs himself, 10-yard line, bounces outside, five, and squeezes through two defenders down to the two-yard line. It's a nice run by Montana, gain of 12. Longest run of the year for Cruz. Navarrete behind the fullback, Logan Herman. This is almost how they looked on the first 
touch of the game and Navarrete, Navarrete to the left side for a Pioneers touchdown. 37 to seven, Lewis and Clark on top. And Lewis and Clark brings back Alex Koga for the PAT. And the hold of Isaac Cordova, the snapper is Cameron Chang, the fifth year senior. Koga's been perfect. The Pioneers, two minutes into the third quarter, lead 38 to 7. From Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon, this is Pio Stream. Back in Portland, Oregon, 13-10 remaining in the third quarter. Lewis and Clark leading Whittier, 38-9. Hayden Moses kicks it away for Lewis and Clark. Left to right, underneath it, Moises Gonzalez from the 10. Works the near side hash mark, cuts back out left, and is twisted down past the 30-yard line. Justin Hope makes a play on special teams. First half numbers for Whittier quarterback Sebastian Pimentel, the sophomore out of Whittier, California. 8 of 21, 94 yards. He was sacked twice and threw a pick. Starts his first possession of the second half from his own 31. Passing on first down, throwing deep downfield, looking for Williams and jumped up to make the play. Perfect timing. Anakin Maris with the shove and incomplete. Anakin Maris has a pick in this game. Touchdown drive for the Pioneers. Five plays, 69 yards, minute 50 off the clock. One yard run by Navarrete. Leading tackler for Lewis and Clark in the first half. Joseph Gonzalez with three and a half. Ari Bleemer had three tackles including a sack, one of his two tackles for loss. Second and 10 from the Whittier, 31. Tight end to the left side of the formation. And a slow snap. Pioneers had a great rush, and Justin Hope comes through, makes the sack with a penalty marker out late. Hope was there, as were several of his teammates, so quickly. That was a really slow snap. The offensive line, striker Herb, Jamil Charles, Jonathan Ramirez, Sam Megadan, and Noah Ramirez. Stops the clock with 12.52 to go in the third. 38-7 lead for Lewis and Clark. First half, Lewis and Clark penalized five times for 39 yards. There's no foul for targeting. That was the concern, was there was a foul potentially targeting. Instead, not the case. Two penalties, 10 yards for Whittier in the first half. 38-7 the score. Whittier trails by 31 points. Just underway in the third quarter. First possession for the Poets. 0-2 on the year out of Southern California. Pioneers 0-1 on the year. First game at home this year. Calvin Tipton, the left side running back. For Whittier. High snap. Pimentel hands it. Tipton tries the middle. Nothing there. 
kind of loops right and gains a pair. Tackle made by Bleemer for Lewis and Clark. Daniel Cruz, senior tight end in the game for Whittier. Base formation really looks to be the single back look. The left side tight end tight to the formation is Miguel Gutierrez. Gonzalez split out all the way to the slot left. Williams outside of him. Third down and eight. Pioneers blitz. Throw of Pimentel and can't catch up to it. Gonzalez on the out route. Coverage by Tanner Ono and Mikey Nagy to safeties. Fourth down for Whittier and back out to punt is Sean Aldana. A three and out. Now the first punt of the game was this direction. Whittier was going right to left and the snap went over Aldana's head. Lewis and Clark got possession inside the Whittier five, scored on the first play offensively. The snap does not get past Aldana, who sends it deep. Aiden Verva Hamilton feels it right away, was grabbed and brought down. Tackle made by Andres. Real Caba. But you're averaging 34 yards per kick before that one. So it's 11.39 to go third quarter, opening game of the year. At home, Griswold Stadium for Lewis and Clark Pioneers start their second possession of the second half from their own 34-yard line. Sean Body out to the left side of the formation. Sophomore who caught a touchdown, the only touchdown last week for Lewis and Clark. High snap, Montana brings down Elijah McGee on the sweep left, cuts outside, 50-yard line, into Whittier territory and past the 40. Down to the 37-yard line. A 29-yard gain on first down. The Pioneers another big play. Forty-three yard run by Navarrete in this game. That one was Elijah McGee for 29. Pass play right side. Incomplete. It was intended for Keegan Holly. That might have been actually Holly who was out. No, body's out there. He's on the left side. So that was Holly. Lewis and Clark Sr. out of Sweet Home, Oregon. He's in the slot left side. Devin Guest is to the near side. McGee in the slot right. Navarrete, left side running back. Pitch play back to him. Kicked it. Trying to fall on top of it. Able to crowl it back at the 47. A loss of 11 for the Pios. Probably the... Worst execution by the Pioneers all afternoon so far, which is saying something because the Pioneers were nearly flawless in their first half possessions. It's a big third down now, third down and 20. Pioneers from the Whittier 46 yard line. Montana gets the snap, five man rush, steps up in the pocket, grabbed onto initially, gets away from three and then heaves it down the left side. And it's like a free ball, it's caught near the 16 yard line. Picked off by Shakobi Marzet. 17 yard line, and Montana has his first interception thrown this season. I have some news about cross country we'll share in a moment. Lewis and Clark unsuccessful on that possession, and Whittier takes over with 10.31 to go in the third quarter, trailing 38 to 7. Starting from their own 17 yard line this time. The worst starting field position of the game for Whittier. But it's off the interception. Pimentel right to left with the Whittier offense. White tops, purple helmets, gold pants. First and ten. Throws left. Caught on the run. Williams spun down immediately. Tackled by Hope. Just shy of the 20-yard line. A quick gain of two. The PLU Invitational is going on for Lewis and Clark cross country. Women's race is done, the 6K. There's an injured Pioneers player down. Riley Beasy for Lewis and Clark, sub 2304, finishes fifth overall. 
behind runners from Pacific out of the Northwest Conference and Seattle Pacific. BZ finishes fifth overall. And Ellie Hull, Pioneers freshman, 2309, finishes sixth. I believe those races still going on. Men's 8K results are in. Frankie Reed, Pioneers top finisher. In third place, 25-33 was his time. Head athletic trainer Jeremy Lowe down on the field. Ten sixteen on the third quarter clock. Pioneers at 38-7. First injury of the game that we've seen stop play. Pioneers dressed in the home black uniforms. Might be David Seha. Ramson Paz out in the interior defensive front for Lewis and Clark. They go to three down linemen. Nico Lang on the left defensive end. Cameron Chang's still out there. He's just standing up. He looks like an outside linebacker. Second and eight. And penalty markers out for Whittier before the snap. Penalty. Start. Offense. Number six. Five-yard penalty. Replay the down. It was not David Seha. To the sideline goes Mike Inagi. Looking at his right knee. The safety out. Silas Tyson is in for Lewis and Clark. Second and 13 after the Whittier penalty. Four receivers total for Pimentel. Quick throw right side. Caught. Stiff arm Tyson Tapley. Tries to make some space. Gets back to the previous second down spot near the 19-yard line. A quick gain of about five. Jake Bushman, the middle linebacker. Alex Hensley and Justin Hope are the outside linebackers. No McConnell LeBoy today. The Pioneers returning all-conference player in 2019. Instead, far side Anakin Mares is the corner. Joseph Gonzalez has played well on the near side corner. Pioneer senior out of San Carlos, California. Third and eight for Whittier. Snap Pimentel. Quick throw and almost picked off. Alex Hensley jumped up and stopped a dart. Incomplete. Great play from the Lewis and Clark senior defender, Leander, Texas linebacker. Out comes the punt team for Whittier. Now Donna back to kick for Whittier. Aiden Verba Hamilton at the 48. On the fly into Whittier territory. Reverses field to the near side. Hash marks between the numbers. Cuts back in the middle. Verba Hamilton, 25. Cuts to the left. Has to beat the punter. He does. Touchdown, Lewis and Clark. A 54-yard punt return for Aiden Verba Hamilton. And the Pioneers lead 44 to seven. He had one a couple years ago. Turn TD, this one 54 yards, and Koga makes it 45 to 7. Lewis and Clark on top. We'll be back in a little bit on Pile Stream, 844 left in the third.
A 45-7 lead for Lewis and Clark over the top of the Whittier Poets. 8.44 left in the third. Moises Gonzalez up the near side. Hash marks spun down. I think that was Evan Powers again. Powers was the one who made the tackle, I think, on that last run back by Whittier as well. I credited it to Hope, but it might have been Powers. And if that's the case, back-to-back -back special teams tackles. Officially a 53-yard punt return for Aiden Verva Hamilton. Makes it 45-7. Pioneers have already scored twice in the first seven minutes of the second half, leading 45-7 over Whittier. A lot of snaps for the defense now. Jordan Fajardo, the linebacker out of Carson, California, right side. Sam Meinhard is the middle linebacker. Left side is Daniel Pham, sophomore out of Portland Central Catholic High School. Pimentel, snap, right side, give to David Contreras, the senior, works for one. It was Pham on the tackle. 2019 opened with a 44-41 Lewis and Clark win over Whittier. Pioneers overcame a 21-3 uh, deficit to win that game by three, scored 27 points in the second half. Second down and eight for Pimentel. Pimentel throws right side, and it's bobbled and caught. Picked off by Joseph Gonzalez up the far sideline and to the Pioneers touchdown. Wow, Joseph Gonzalez. What a great play. And the Pioneers score again to lead 51-7. Pioneers score touchdowns within 50 seconds of one another. Koga's PAT is good. 7.52 to go in the third, and Lewis and Clark is up 52 to 7 on top of the Whittier Poets on Pio Street. Lewis and Clark on top of Whittier, 7.52 to go in the third, up 52 to seven. Pioneers led 31-7 at halftime. And now thanks to a punt return TD and an interception return TD, the Pioneers lead 52 to seven. This all on the heels after Navarrete scored his fourth rushing touchdown. Nice run back by Moises Gonzalez, tackled down low. Made by Keegan Hawley. 7.46 to go. Third quarter. Lewis and Clark's all-time record for points scored came in 2010. They put up 68 against Puget Sound. Three times in the 2010s overall, Lewis and Clark has scored at least 60 points. First and 10 for Whittier, handoff left side. Contreras finds some space and is chopped down at the 45 yard line by Hope. Oh no, it was not Hope rather, that's Ozzy and Kai in the game. 
freshman out of Los Angeles is Campbell Hall playing the near side corner. Pioneer starting to rotate personnel, leading 52 to 7. David Seha, near side defensive end. There's Jeremiah Bernal. And as the right side defensive tackle, DJ Smith is the left side tackle. Snap to Pimentel, out to Gonzalez. And there's Ankai again with a low tackle, stopped him at midfield. Fan was over there as the linebacker. Silas Tyson comes off a little bit hobbled as well, so Ono's back in for Lewis and Clark. Julian Colvin, freshman out of Sacramento's Capital Christian in at safety as well for the Pios. Far side corner is Sammy Gonzalez, who saw time in the first half as well. Second down and six. Second down and seven, rather, for Whittier. Contreras breaks out of a tackle initially grabbed onto by Rusty Nozo and able to break free for an additional two-yard gain. So now a third and five facing Whittier. Nozo's on the left side defensive end. Fajardo's in at linebacker left side. We haven't seen Marvin Pusungzita. We mentioned that Wakanda LeBoy is not playing today. Here's Pimentel. Blitz from his left. Got away from that. Rolls to his left and goes out of bounds for a loss. Meinhardt was out to help. So is Bernal. Fourth down seven and Aldana's out to kick it away. Really tough, uh, tough start for the third quarter for Whittier. Aldana back at the 40 yard line, kicks it away. And Aiden Verba Hamilton signals fair catch at the 21 for Lewis and Clark. Last week, Theron Savonksa did play at quarterback for Lewis and Clark. Was just throwing some warm up reps a second ago and said Trey Morris comes out for the Pioneers. Morris has one snap in this game. Sophomore out of Seattle's Rainier Beach High School. Motions Cordova right to left. First and 10 from the 21. And a quick couple yards to the left side for Lewis and Clark. Five minutes to go. Third quarter, Lewis and Clark leading 52-7. Powers is the running back. 5'10", 180 pound senior Powers is out of Honolulu, left side. Two receivers either side, Keegan Hawley's in the slot. Powers shifts to the right side of Morris. Morris looks left, throws, caught on the in route, screen play. And that one's caught by Body, that's a gain near the first down, just about a half yard shy. Pioneers bring Marcelo Lopez and Ward Anderson, a pair of tight ends out. And then they bring in the I formation. It's Herman to lead the way for Tony Randall. Freshman out of Gate, California, third down and one. And Morris <laughs> keeps it himself. Works left side, shoved by Herman, gains a yard plus. Morris, six foot, 200 pounds at quarterback for Lewis and Clark. Penalty marker out in the defensive backfield. Personal foul, illegal hands to the face. Defense, number 31, 15 yard penalty to be added to the end of the run. Automatic, first down. 
52-7 lead, Lewis and Clark 352 to go in the third quarter. Aaron Martinez with the penalty for Whittier. Pioneers out gaining Whittier 411 yards to 82. It's the fourth penalty, fourth penalty on Whittier. Morris, lots of time to throw over the middle and try to heave it near the 30-yard line to Holly. Incomplete, two defenders in coverage. Stops the clock with 3.40 to play in the third. Pioneers opened up play off a bad snap on a punt by Whittier to score on a four-yard run by Navarrete. Then scored a 23-yard run by the sophomore back. Whittier scored its first touchdown on a one-yard dive play by Gonzalez. Now whistles blow before this second down snap. Timeout. Lewis and Clark. Their first of the half. Pioneers choose their first time out of the half. We'll keep it here, give you the scoring recap. Pioneers up 52-7, third quarter, 340 to play. Moises Gonzalez, that one-yard run with 4.03 to play in the first quarter, cut the lead in half. Pioneers were up 14-7. And on the ensuing drive, Lewis and Clark went 11 plays, 75 yards, and in 3.02 scored another touchdown. Navarrete scored on a seven-yard run. That was set up in part because That was a 43-yard run by Navarrete on that drive that set up Lewis and Clark. Goal to go territory. And then in the second quarter, Elijah McGee caught a 29-yard pass from Cruz Montana. Huxley Richardson with a 23-yard field goal, and Navarrete had a one-yard run. Morris keeper left side on second and 10 for Lewis and Clark. Gains positive yardage down to the Whittier 49. 3.35 to play third quarter, 52-7. Lewis and Clark leading. Pioneers will go on to their bye week after this. And they'll get ready for Northwest Conference play. Tough test with Whitworth to open up at Spokane on the 2nd of October. Morris the snap. Throws on a rope. Holly caught near the 30. And a first down for Lewis and Clark down to the 29. A 20-yard 20 pickup for the Pios. Fifty-two seven lead, three minutes to play, third quarter. Nice pass by Morris. Toss play. Holly coming across the formation right to left. Kicks it up the far sideline. And Holly, back-to-back -back explosive plays. Pioneers. Oregon Bay senior. Gets it into the red zone, past the 10 yard line and down to the eight. A 21 yard gain. We've seen that play a couple of times by the Pioneers. Haven't seen a whole lot of different looks from Lewis and Clark in this game. Rangel's the deep back on first and goal from the eight. Snap, handoff, Rangel works left side and into a wall, gains one. Cameron Kimball was one of the three for Whittier on the stop. Joe Bushman's offense was designed when he came in here back in 2019 to be up tempo, to be fast, and use momentum. Pioneers, high snap brought down, Rangel spins out of a tackle and able to gain about three yards. Initial hit by Jacob Hayes. Kimball finally brings him down at the four. Brings up third and goal from the Whittier four. Fullback is Herman. Rangel's out of Gate, California, the freshman. And off left side, Rangel spins, lunging toward the end zone, is stopped just shy. Tackles made. 
by Alex Ortiz Valenzuela. So now it's first, excuse me, fourth and goal from the one yard line. Morris gets under center again. Late substitution by Whittier, and the Poets have to use a timeout. Timeout, Whittier, their first of the half. Pioneers 163 rushing yards from Navarrete. 43-yard run, the longest. Pioneers have runs of 30 from Elijah McGee. That last one by Keegan Hawley of 21 yards. And then Cruz Montana's ran for 12. The Pioneers have th uh, six with a double-digit run today. 102. 102 to play in the third quarter. 52-7 lead for Lewis and Clark over Whittier in the home opener. Pioneers trying to go to 1-1 one one before conference play. Whittier also has a bye after this game. will face Pomona Pitzer, the team that beat them last week, 59-16. This game to be played on the 2nd of October at Pomona Pitzer. Fourth and, goal. Fourth and goal for Lewis and Clark trying to add on to a 52-7 lead. Morris under center. Left hash. Double tight end. Hand off left side. Randall to the line. And he's in. Touchdown, Lewis and Clark. First career touchdown for Tony Rangel. And the Pioneers lead 58 to 7. Fifth rushing touchdown of the game for Lewis and Clark. The first by someone other than Navarrete. And that was not the prettiest PAT, but it went through for Koga. He's made them all today. 57 seconds left in the third. Big thanks to our Pio Stream crew. Big thanks to you for watching. Fans are back in the stadium. And we step away with a 59-7 lead for Lewis and Clark. From Portland, Oregon, this is Pio Stream. Lewis and Clark with 281 rushing yards to open the season at home. First game at home for Lewis and Clark. Lead 59-7 and Williams stumbles shy of the 20 on the return for Whittier. 54 seconds remaining. In the third, Lewis and Clark 59, Whittier 7. Pioneers five rushing touchdowns today. That last capped off the longest drive in terms of yardage for the Pioneers and the second 11 play drive of the afternoon for Lewis and Clark. 11 plays, 79 yards, 414 off the clock. One yard touchdown run by Randall. So the Pioneers lead 59 7. It remains Pimentel in at quarterback. Running back is Contreras. He's had a few good runs for Whittier in the second half. Works the right side. And between four defenders is brought down after a gain of two. Pioneers lead with 33 seconds left in the third quarter.
16 seconds snap to Pimentel. Good pocket this time. Steps up, throwing deep. Williams is behind the defense. Caught on the run. 42. 30 yard line, 20, and Williams is gone. Whittier touchdown with four seconds left in the third quarter. A 78 yard reception for Williams. Handle in for the PAT. And the kick is up and through. So four seconds left in the third, 59-14. A 78-yard touchdown play by... Hakeem Williams, the senior out of Covina, California. That was good protection by the front five of Whittier. And it gave Pimentel a chance to throw and deliver. Prior to that, the longest play for Whittier this afternoon. A 42-yard reception by Moises Gonzalez. The rain has subsided. The most wet it was was toward the middle part of the second quarter. Lewis and Clark scored twice in the second after putting up three touchdowns in the first. But really, this has been a huge quarter for the Pioneers. Two touchdown runs, a 53-yard punt return TD by Aiden Verva Hamilton, and then Joseph Gonzalez had a 36-yard interception return. Whittier's turned it over three times and then had kind of that de facto turnover when the punt went over, or the punt snap went over the head of Aldana in the first quarter, the very first punt of the game. Herb Hamilton stacked up, twisted down. How much running room near the right side hash mark? It was Omar Lua with the tackle. End of the third quarter from Griswold Stadium, Fred Wilson Field on the campus of Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. The end of the third quarter. Lewis and Clark Pioneers 59, the Whittier Poets 14 on Pio Stream. That is the end of the third quarter. I'm Nick Lombardi. Um, something I've learned at Winterham this year is how to communicate a vision. My biggest takeaway from Winterham is probably the networking. Getting to talk to everybody, connect with people for the future is one of the most valuable things and I did one term last year, came back for more this year. I think a way in which my liberal arts education has really helped me and my group uh, formulate our ideas is that concept of critical thinking and having many different backgrounds. Me being an econ major and my two group mates being chemistry majors, we really get that well-rounded background, well-rounded ideas. I think overall it's absolutely worth doing. Um, you, you find yourself not only being more prepared for say, well, this next semester. Start of the fourth quarter, Lewis and Clark 59, Whittier 14. Thanks for joining us on Pio Stream. Along with our Pio Stream crew, I'm Ryan Goff. Pioneers score four touchdowns in the third quarter and then Whittier on a 78 yard pass play scored the final touchdown of the period. Handoff Evan Powers on first and 10 from the 25 for Lewis and Clark. And the new quarterback is transfer out of College of the Siskiyous, Therian Savonksa, 6'1", 205 pound sophomore. Two receivers to the near side, one to the right, tight end in the game as well. Handoff, Powers right side, explodes past the 30, runs downhill over the top of Seth Morrison and a gain to the 37-yard line for Lewis and Clark just underway in the fourth quarter. 59-14 lead for the Pios.
Powers loses a yard or so. Big play on the right side. Body catches the pass. Penalty marker out at the very end. Gets it to the 49 of Whittier. Await the penalty. Officials meeting at midfield after the catch by Body. Personal foul, illegal blindside block, offense number 14. 15 yard penalty, free play, second down. Penalties whistled on Reed Fong, the junior receivers in the game. Tyron Savangza into the game. Chose Lewis and Clark to transfer to like the small school environment. Play action. Savangza chased to the right and grabbed onto. Nice closing speed by Mark Martinez and the sack back to the 20. They'll give forward progress to the 24 yard line, a loss of 10. Savangza said, I chose Lewis and Clark because they had a smaller school environment similar to the previous junior college where he was at College of the Siskiyous in Northern California. Allowed him to be closer to community and professors. Going to be studying rhetoric and media studies. Right-handed quarterback rolling left. Throw down field. Nice adjustment. Great snag by Desmond Holton. Freshman receiver with a catch up to the 41. A big 17-yard gain for the Pios. And they're excited about Holton, Queen Creek, Arizona, hometown. Setting computer science and makes a nice grab there. Newsom out to punt for Lewis and Clark. Richardson had the first punt for the Pioneers. That punt only went 11 yards, so Newsom is out to kick, standing back at the 25. Better punt this time, angled to the right side of the field, bounces at the 35 and out of bounds near the 33. About a 26-yard punt for Lewis and Clark, 11.57 to go in the fourth. 59-14 lead for Lewis and Clark. So P. Mantel comes back out for Whittier. Pioneers have led the whole way, built a 14-7 lead, took it to 31-7 at halftime. But P. Mantel delivered on a 78-yard touchdown pass last series for the Poets. That was the Williams who split at the bottom of the formation, left to right and white. Hand off, Contreras left side, and picks up three. Herman on the tackle for Lewis and Clark. Pioneers have Julian Colvin out at safety. And Silas Tyson back out as well. Ozzy Ankai plays on the near side corner. Sammy Gonzalez is out on the far side. Will Powell, the sophomore out of Oakland, Oregon, in on the right side linebacker. Second down and seven handoff. Contreras. No running room. Good close off to the near side of the formation by Bleemer. Has a sack in this game as well. Bleemer had changed his number back in 2019. Changed it before the Pacific game because there was an illegal touching penalty against him. So went to 91. Middle linebacker for Lewis and Clark is Connor Hilberg, freshman 
out of Washington. Pimentel on third and nine. Throw to the near side and incomplete. Hankai had the best read on that against Williams. Fourth down. 10-31 to play in the fourth. Pioneers with a 59-14 lead. Set to get the ball back. Cordova's back to return it for Lewis and Clark. Transferred from Occidental. There's a few players for Lewis and Clark. Out of Occidental, a program in Whittier's Skyac Conference that stopped playing football and so transferred during the 2020 year to Lewis and Clark, the 2020-21 academic year. High kick. Cordova calls everyone off. It bounces at the 40 and angles toward the far sideline. To the 36, 10-20 to play. Pioneers take over with a 59-14 lead. Lloyd still out at center for Lewis and Clark. Looks like Elijah Woody's at left guard now for Lewis and Clark. And then Sandoval stays in at right tackle. Left side guard for Donovan Lefebvre. And then now the left tackle is Nathan Lean, who started at right guard. Morris back at QB for Lewis and Clark. Hand off to Powers. And nothing doing right side. Good play. Cut in on by Ortiz Valenzuela. The Pioneers do not have a deep running back core. So it's good to see the Pioneers have a lot of talent at it. Navarrete has four touchdowns in the game. Tony Rangel picked up a touchdown. Now Powers is out there as the primary back for Lewis and Clark. Play action. Morris seam route. Throw caught on the run and brought down just shy of the Whittier 40-yard line. Nice quick pass out to Daffy, the tight end. The German tight end. Grew up in Berlin and started... As a defender, transferred over or shifted over to tight end to add some depth for, depth for the Pioneers. They have Ward Anderson and Marcelo Lopez primarily at that position. Snap play action. Morris, good. Move into the feet and tries to squeeze in another route up the right hash marks. Incomplete intended for Lopez about the 25-yard line. Savangza comes back out now for Lewis and Clark on second down and 10. Pioneers up. 59-14, 9.24 to play. Fong and Holton split out to the left side of the formation. Daffy's the tight end right wing. Handoff Powers. Works left side up the hash marks. And able to weave forward down to the 29. First down run by Evan Powers. Really liked Powers during the 2019 season. 5'10", 180. Seemingly plays a little bit bigger than that. Rangel comes in for him now. Kind of gives me a feeling of a back who might be closer to 200. Rangel left side and ridden down by Aaron Martinez. Quick gain of about six. And that's the thing that helped with the Pioneers in 2019 is they had such a big back in Michael Abraham. Again, 42nd in the country in rush TDs. Averaged 4.1 yards per carry to finish his career with just under 1,890 yards. The 11th most time at Lewis and Clark. Sweet play left. And space closed quickly for Fong who had it to the 20-yard line. Nice job by Sam Assay. And it's third and one for Lewis and Clark. So that was a big question mark going into fall camp for me was how would the Pioneers replace Abraham? Powers had done pretty well. But Rangel and Navarrete were the players I'd never seen before. So had good conversations with Coach Bushman about this running back core. And they're just not deep in numbers, but they got a lot of talent. Morris is back in 
Five on the play clock, I formation. Third down. Timeout, Whittier. Their second of the half. So Whittier takes his second timeout. We'll step away. Pioneers have a third down and one when we come back, leading 59 14 on Pio Street. Everyone I've known has had a good experience with everyone in that department, so I think it was a worthwhile course to take. What is one class that everyone should take at Lewis and Clark? Um, I really enjoyed education. Third down and one for Lewis and Clark. Third down and ten. Morris under center. Pitch play right, Randall. Met at the line of scrimmage. And directed short. Doesn't look like Randall got it. Santana made a nice play to hit Randall hard in the hole. And it's short of the first down. Fourth down for the Pios with 7-10 to play fourth quarter, leading 59-14. And this time Morris just keeps it, and Morris is pushed forward by Herman. All the way across the 15, that's a six-yard gain on fourth and one. Morris is big enough to begin with, but then you have Herman given the boost, 5'11", 200 pounds. New receiver near side is Nathan Hackley. Kirkland, Washington, first year player at six foot. Ward Anderson, left side tight end. Fong in the slot, right side is Holton. First and 10, Pioneers from the 14 of Whittier. High snap, Morris brings it down. Powers gets away from one defender in the backfield but has to go all the way to the sideline. Nice play by Santana again to disrupt things and bounce powers outside left. Loss of one. Passing play, Morris throws right. Screen play by Holton stays on his feet despite having someone immediately on his shoulder. Tackle made by Ortiz Valenzuela. Powers is the running back on third and ten. Savangsa seam route, caught, touchdown! Marcelo Lopez. First Pioneers touchdown for Tyron Savangsa. And the Pioneers lead 65 to 14. Sixty-five fourteen. Lewis and Clark on top. And the PT PAT is up and through. So it's a sixty-six fourteen lead for Lewis and Clark. Five thirty-seven to go in the fourth quarter. Some of the most impressive point totals for Lewis and Clark in its history. They beat Puget Sound 68-64 back in 2010. That was the most points they had scored all time. And then beat Whitman back in 1962, 67 to nothing. So right now, the third most points ever scored in a game for the Pioneers. And quickly, Stephen Masters, Claudia Lober, and our athletic communications team today told me this is the most points in a home opener for the Pioneers.
First time being over a 60-point total since 2010 because the Pioneers had done that twice that year. They beat Pomona Pitzer 63-38. And I believe that's the game that they mentioned was the most points in a home opener for the Pios. They beat Pomona Pitzer back on September 18th after losing 65-21 to Claremont Mud Scripps. And that was a changing year for the Pioneers. Because the following year they went 7-2. and two, So the Pios 4-5 and five that year. And kind of used that springboard of beating Pomona Pitzer into the 60s. To help pave, pave the way that year. Here's Williams on the return for Whittier. Gets to the 25. Herman in on the tackle for the Pios. Daffy was there as well. Entering that 2010 season, the Pioneers had won just three games in the prior five years. And that was my first year at Palatine Hill. And I remember was told of some of the struggles the Pios had had in football. My first game, Lewis and Clark, they put up 63 against Pomona Pitzer. Whistles blow before the snap, 5.30 to play in the fourth, and it's a timeout by Whittier, down 66-14. Timeout, Whittier, their final timeout. So I'm sitting here going like, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't know anything about these struggles Lewis and Clark's had in recent years a team that I just saw put up 63 against the Sage Hens. Pioneers went on to go 4-5 and five that year and it seemed like a big turning point. They beat Pacific in the first game against the Boxers since Pacific reinstated their program 48-0 on homecoming. In fact, won four of the first six games that season. And then the next year, Keith Welch one of the best players in Lewis and Clark football history helped the Pioneers go 7-0 to start the year. Handoff left side. The Contreras picks up about five. New quarterback for Whittier. George Acuna, sophomore out of Pl Placentia, California. 5'10", 170-pound quarterback. Pioneers had a 7-2 season played in the de facto championship game against Linfield on November 12th. They ended up losing that one 47-14. Finished the year 7-2. Run play. And Herman makes the tackle along with Gleamer after a gain of one. 440 to play in the fourth quarter. And so that's what I kind of was introduced to with Pioneers football. And then some down years followed that 7-2 season. Again, that's with Keith Welch, who was a fantastic football player for the Pioneers. Finishes the all-time yardage leader for Lewis and Clark in its history for total offense. It's a finalist for Division Three Player of the Year. They're down in four. Throw left side. And might be shy. Depends on the spot. Caught by Williams. And they're going to mark him a first down. A game against Pomona Pitzer. Lewis and Clark had 549 rushing yards. Which was the most in Lewis and Clark history. Pioneers today with 309 under four to play in the fourth quarter. Whittier with the ball trailing 66-14. Fumble, ball came free, picked up and grabbed by Ono. And the Pioneers have it on the Whittier side of the field again. Second fumble recovery for Lewis and Clark Tanner Ono. And the Pioneers have a chance with 3.29 to play in the fourth quarter 
to set an all-time record for points scored. Welch finished with more passing yards than any Lewis and Clark quarterback all time. 8,779 for a career. Handoff goes left side. Rangel has nowhere to go. Is driven backwards. Welch as a quarterback finished with the sixth most rushing yards in the history of Lewis and Clark. Cade Knighton is the new quarterback. Portland, Oregon freshman out of Central Catholic High School. Six foot 190, second down and 11. And a handoff by Rangel, nowhere to go. That was JT Willis on the snap, Lincoln, California. Freshman. It's the Pioneers using all different quarterbacks. This is Jack McCarty, the freshman coming in from Kaiser, Oregon. That's just north of Salem, the state capital, McNary High School. Loss of three, third and 14 with 230 to play. Snap to McCarty. Sweet play left for Fong. Gets up the sideline and tries to stay in bounds. Knocked out finally. And Fong gets all sorts of praise because he bounced off a defender before going out of bounds. Los Angeles Junior picks up about nine. It's fourth and five. Back on is Knighton. Quarterback carousel for the Pioneers toward the end of this game. Two minutes to play. Knight in motions Fong. They run the same play. Fong back to the left and is shy of the first down. This time stopped by Mark or by Aaron Martinez. So Pioneers turn it over on down. 66-14 it remains. Pioneers had a new offensive lineman. Martin Reyes was in on that series. Pioneers freshman out of Sacramento, six foot two eighty. Good job, Joey. Go get it, go get it. So Kuna comes back out for the final series, likely down sixty six fourteen. Pioneers will play at Whitworth after a bye week on October second, first conference home game against Pacific Lutheran on the 9th of October. Contreras through the middle. Get some big yards. Following that seven and two seasons, Pios went four and five in 2012 and then started the 33 game losing streak that spanned 2013 to 2017. And Pomona Pitzer has been <laughs> involved in a couple of instances of Pioneers history because Lewis and Clark won 40-29 in 2017 at Pomona Pitzer to break that streak. Acuna, left-handed quarterback, pumps, throws, and incomplete. Intended for Tyler Cochran. Minute 11 remaining. Lewis and Clark opened up the game Scoring three of the first four touchdowns. Deontay Navarati had a touchdown run of four yards, one of 23 yards, and one of seven yards. Has a 43-yard run in this game, finished with 163 yards on 26 carries, 4.3 yards per carry. Pioneers led 21-7 at the end of the first. Third down and seven for Whittier. Kuna rolls left, tucks it, runs, gets out of bounds. Minute five remaining. Elijah McGee caught a 29-yard touchdown pass midway through the second quarter. Pioneers went up 28-7. Huxley Richardson's 23-yard field goal with 4.44 left made it 31-7 at halftime. And then the Pioneers scored the first four touchdowns of the third quarter. One-yard run by Navarrete. Verba Hamilton, 53-yard punt return 
Joseph Gonzalez, a 36-yard interception return. And then Rangel scored from one yard out for the Pios. That one rolls. No one back to return for the Pioneers. 55 seconds. Even getting down to 53 before the clock has stopped. So a big game for Lewis and Clark. Nice debut in front of the fans back at Portland, Oregon. center. The ball is fumbled on the snap. Nice job by Lewis and Clark's JT Willis to get back on top of it. McCarty comes in and will take the final snap for Lewis and Clark. Fans are back. The sun came out in the second half. This weather is far more typical of what it's been for at least the last two months for Lewis and Clark students and staff, faculty. McCarty hands it off, and Rangel gets tackled in the backfield. A 66-14 final, Lewis and Clark victorious, and the home opener. And turn to the fans. It was a free return to play. No admission charge today for the first game since November 2019. And the Pioneers get a victory by a final of 66-14. And the third most points scored in Lewis and Clark history. For Lily Moffitt, who was our director today and the entire Pio Stream crew, I am Ryan Goff. We appreciate you being here. Go to lcpioneers.com for more after the game. You can read the full recap and get more information at lcpioneers.com. The final 66-14. Thank you for being with us, and we will see you again for more Lewis and Clark Athletics home soccer and home volleyball next weekend on PioStream. Until then, goodbye, everybody. Line bounces outside five and squeezes through two defenders. Down.
Cameron Chang, the fifth year senior. Koga's been perfect. The Pioneers, two minutes into the third quarter. at the 48. On the fly into Whittier territory, reverses field to the near side. Hash marks between the numbers, cuts back in the middle. Verva Hamilton, 25, cuts to the left. Has to beat the punter, he does. Touchdown, Lewis and Clark. had one a couple years ago. A return TD, this one 54 yards, and Koga makes it 45 to seven. 